Aloha, I'm Johan Van Aardy and today we are going to talk about the two biggest mistakes that salespeople make and with that the two most two very essential skills that people should have and focus on and this is going to be number 11 and 12 of the essential skills all salespeople should have. Um, my camera is not stable, I'm just trying to get you a nice view here in the background. Um, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous, stunning day in beautiful Kauai uh, at what we call the Sheraton Beach, people on the beach and uh, just absolutely pretty blue water and you just can't beat it. So just before I get started, um, let you grab a view, you can see how beautiful blue that water is. Um, and what a phenomenally gorgeous day it is. Tons of people on the beach. Okay. So, as we switch back to me here, so what are those two things that, that salespeople typically make a mistake of and should be focusing on? If you wanna see the nice pictures of the beach again, just scroll back to the beginning of my video. Also, if I give you value, please tap the screen and give me hearts and likes and make sure to share this with your friends. So to me, the most critical thing is, this is a skill, this is the mistake that people make and a skill that people should have all wrapped in one. The number one thing is do not prejudge. That is the skill that you have, but that's also the mistake that people make is they are prejudge. You know, um, when you are working with people, it's very easy to judge people based on their look, the way they dress, their background, and you might be surprised um, that this person could buy way more than what you just have to sell, um, but could probably buy out, out by anybody else, right? So you never know what a person's background is, what led them to that. And always, always go from the standpoint is that w your product and service can possibly help these people. And if they can help people, whether what, whatever it is that you do and sell, that you can help people, you make their life better. Sometimes it's a need, sometimes it's a want, but what you would get them will be beneficial for them. If you don't believe that, you shouldn't even be selling the product or service because then you're fake. You have to be real. So once you believe that, then you should believe that everybody deserves a chance. They don't deserve to own your product or service necessarily, but they deserve a chance to take a look at what you have to offer. And I promise you, if you treat people like that, you will be treated like that. What goes around comes around. So try not to walk, you know, um, in my industry, it's very easy to, to, to prejudge. Um, and, and, and I think in a lot of sales, people are easy to prejudge. Just think if somebody comes in and looks like a bum into a Mercedes dealership, and then they find out that this guy is actually a trust fund baby. He's a hippie, but it's a trust fund baby. He could buy 10 Mercedes if he wanted to and wouldn't make, you know, wouldn't make a dent in, 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 his, in his wealth, right? So always give anybody a chance because when you look at it from the standpoint that your product or service can help those people. The second big mistake that people make is that as we say, they don't sizzle enough. So what is the essential skill? Sizzle. And what I mean by that is talk less about what the product or service is, but what it will do for you. You know, let's talk about that Mercedes car. Why does people buy it? To be seen in it? Because it's quality? Because it feels nice to drive it? Because they like driving fast and it's fast? Because it's a status symbol? And because they deserve it? So you're gonna talk about all of that things. And when you're showing a feature of the car, you're gonna hit in with one of their dominant buying motives, why they should be purchasing this and what this feature will do for them, not what the feature is, right? So who cares if it's not leather seats and each seat is individually adjustable with, and can cool the seats in the summer, heat it in the winter and stuff like that. Um, and the technology behind that. The whole problem is, is that, hey, when you go 
and your wife is a little bit, or your partner is a little bit warm, um, she can get cooled and your seat can be individually adjusted. And it's just a great time. And you know why you would have it? Because you deserve to do that. You've worked hard all your life. That is how you present something to people. You know, there's a very, very well-known talk, a TED talk from Simon Sinek. Uh, and Simon Sinek wrote, wrote the book, um, Start With Why, about the why, and why a company such as Apple have distinguished themselves in computer business and electronics so far above anybody else because they don't sell technology. Yes, their products are quality. Yes, they work great. But what they sell is the experience and the culture that go along with it. The people buy why Apple does it. Apple wants to give you a good experience, a simple experience. Um, they want you to enjoy working on their, apply and, and their electronics. Um, instead of our computer has so many megabytes of data or now gigabytes, you know, in so much memory and it's so fast and can do this and that for you. People don't care about it. All people care about is will this thing work for me? Will it pick up the Wi-Fi signal? How's the graphics? Is it going to freeze up on me? How many times do I have to restart it? Or, or they don't want to restart it. So you don't have to deal with that. You can just open it up and click on it and enjoy what it's there to do. So remember, sizzle your product. Forget about selling what the product or service is. Focus on what it will do for the person. My mentor Ray Higdon did a Facebook Live last week, with, I think it was last week about it, and he got pretty fired up about it. But you know what? Um, it's very easily sometimes to want to tell somebody why your product or service is better. It's way more is what it will do for them. So remember, always sizzle and put people in the picture. And secondly, going back to number one that I said, do not prejudge. Give everybody a fair share. If you do that, you'll be unusually successful in your sales process in what you do and how you can help other people. Thanks to those of you for joining. Hey, I see Samuel joining. My old high school classmate from South Africa, Gideon, is joining. He lives in England now. Thanks for joining, guys. I just saw two, the two of you pop up right away here. Um, several other people joining. Remember, if you got value from what I'm sharing, tap the screen, give us hearts and likes. And um, also remember to share. And as I'm saying goodbye and aloha, here is a little bit more about, uh, and Samuel, you've been here. This is at the shirt, actually. I got a break here. So just what a stunningly gorgeous day is it today. Love to see you guys back here. And hey, Gideon, come visit me, man. You're way too cold over there in England. Get your butt over here. Take care, guys. I say to you, God bless. And aloha to you. Remember to share.